Hi, once again, how do you uh, do all of you, right? Uh, uh, let us come back uh, for previous studies uh, for NIFT and NID. Today we are going to talk about uh, perspective drawing. Uh, perspectives are uh, drawings for the sense of depth. Uh, studies of depths on 3D structures, on uh, 3D space. Okay, So we are going to talk about perspective drawing. Perspective drawings are very interesting and very simple. There are 2D uh, space and uh, 3D space. Say for example, let us start understanding how 2D and 3D uh, uh, space are uh, mean uh, to be. This is a 2D space, you know. You have length and breadth. The moment I create a space like this, it also has another dimension, you know. As you can see, this gradually comes flat. Okay, so this is known as the 3D space. Similarly, uh, on uh, product designing also, we have 2D and 3D space designing, uh, shape designing. So uh, this is an illusion of how we talk about perspective. Uh, for product designing, let me tell you the perspective is like so. This is a 2D. The structure, the moment I convert this structure into a, a form which has a depth, okay, uh, you can see the side and the top view, okay, and extend it back. So, this is known as perspective drawing, okay, uh, concern about depth. But this is still not the perspective that we technically understand, but this has a sense of perspective, sense of depth. This is known as isometry, isometry, okay. Uh, let us come back again while we talk about isometry. This is any space having two dimension, no perspective, orthographic. Okay? Same orthographic. Space. The moment I create a sense of depth and dimension to, the, to this, this becomes not orthographic, but it is converted into isometric. This orthography and isometric is not supposed to be uh, known to you for the sake of exam pattern, but uh, if you don't know this, actually what happens, perspective drawings become difficult for you. Okay, perspective is a sense of depth as I specified. Okay, uh, depth leading to a particular vanishing point. Say for example, as you can see, this is the front view, this is the side view, this is the bottom view of a product. Okay, so if I happen to extend this line and I happen to connect it into one vanishing point, this is the vanishing point where my vision is being narrowed down to at certain point, and I erase out this upper line, as you can see, and I erase out this uh, line, and I erase out these lines. Okay, so you can automatically see. That the back is narrowing down. Okay, the back is narrowing down. As you can see, the back area of the square is much smaller than the front. Hence, this is known as neither perspective uh, orthographic nor uh, isometric, but this is perspective. And since this uh, uh, structure is converging in one particular point, okay. This is known as one point perspective. Right? So, this is like a perspective which is going down, right? And the same product, if I intend to put a different kind of perspective with the same idea of one point, then maybe it's a top, top hand. Let me draw a block over here. These blocks, you'll find that these are parallel lines. These are parallel lines. These are all parallel lines. You can see. These are also parallel lines. That is, let me indicate with double and triple arrow so that you don't confuse between single arrow lines and double arrow lines. So you find that these lines are, these three lines are parallel, which is double arrow, okay, passing horizontally, okay. The vertical lines are having triple arrow, which is vertically inclined, and this diagonal lines are having single arrow. So you can see there are three different planes. There are three different planes. P L A N E S planes. It's not that aircraft 
not that, okay? It's the surface I'm talking about, right? So this is the surface. This is the plane, right? This is the plane. So they have different planes, and these different planes are in dimension, as you can see. But then, if I need to convert into perspective, okay, I need to narrow it into different uh, areas. Say, for example, I I extend this line, I extend this line to this corner, and extend this line to this corner, and the back will find automatically narrowing down the back you see this back is defined this is narrowed down and this is the front is bigger so you can automatically see that the back is converging to one vanishing point which is this point and hence this is a perspective perspective means this is having a sense of depth this product is having a sense of depth so when you use perspective say for example you want to make a car or a bus okay you can see you can see the bus over here, okay? The bus is having a perspective. That the vision is in diminishing at the back, okay? So this is how you study one point perspective. Understood? So I think it's a very basic rule, right? So uh, let us once again uh, uh, phrase up this uh, thing uh, fast, okay? You make any kind of shape you wish like. Any kind of shape, say for example, the shape is like this, a dome, off. Okay? And you want to create a perspective. Perspective. Say for example, you want to create a perspective on the left side. That is, the product is in height from here. Okay? So you extend one line here. You have another line over here. It cannot extend here because it's not going to fall out. This is the top portion part, you extend it here, okay? And the same dome, you try to draw over here, which will be smaller inside. You don't happen to see this, right? So this is a structure which is formed over here. You can see that it has perspective. You can see that there is a kind of a uh, shape which is having a narrow at the back, okay? So this is the perspective, what we can talk about when we are Falling into one point, one point convergence. Okay, so try to practice this out. We have more interesting features coming out. There are a lot of you know, different details into making perspective. There are a lot of ways you can develop perspective. Uh, this is just a basic. Keep practicing. I think you can do, do great job on this. Okay, so all the artwork that is required in an NID and AFT. Okay, for the previous paper, uh, you need to draw. You should draw. You know that's a maturity uh, of representing any kind of. Uh, design diagram, uh, art diagram, you know, uh, develop your skill and prepare everything on perspective, apply those things in your art, you know, and then it looks very mature. You score more marks in your life, okay? So happy learning, happy practicing.